Okay, now let us go to the learning pillars. We have seen the now the subject, we have seen the compulsory from S1 to S S4. What are they? How are they changing? But please, if you want to change the part of this video, just press on the video as it's playing. You will see those three dots there. Tap on them, go to advanced setting, then you are able to change the quality of the video. Of course, it has different qualities depending on your choice. Anyway, learning pillars here, I want to start. Anyway, in the different term, this is mainly learners centered method of teaching. We teachers, we are going to be best at acting as facilitators. Okay? Not just to move around, but to move around with ideas. Why are you moving around? Not just, <laughs> just move anyhow. So the learning pillars, what we expect out of this are the best I find which you can say Kuspa or Kasaba for you to remember properly. K stands for knowledge, U stands for understanding, A stands for skills, B stands for values, and A stands for attitude, the attitude. Okay, then let us see in the lesson what happens is there, the teacher's roles in class. So it's, we are abbreviating it as a cop. <laughs> you are going to be a cop, but how? Oh, this means that you are going to be conversing with the students, you are going to be observing, and then you are going to be a uh, cop, then a product. Let me first change this a bit. Okay. Now, the conversation, the observation, then the product. This is going to be summarized with this triangle. But this conversation should be intentional, not just just talk, but talk with a reason. So this talking will mean you give guiding questions, you ask, or you give guiding conversations. What if, what happens, okay? You talk with the reason. Of course, those reasons you plan according to the lesson as it's going, because you have to plan before the lesson. So as you plan, you have ideas that at this point, I will ask this question, or I will be talking in this way, depending on the idea you want students to get. Some talkings are going to be stimulating learners' thinking simple as that. But you can bring in other conversations, of course, so that you don't bore them, but most of the conversations should be stimulating learner thinking. Okay, learners activities in the learning process, we are abbreviating them with there. This is discovery, experimental today, analysis, and the application. Now, for the learning process to happen, for a student, these three should have happened. Before you leave the lesson, you ask yourself, has a student discovered something? Has a student or any student been able to explain something to his group members? Have they applied what they have about? And then the other thing, have they analyzed what they have been applying? Because before you apply something, you analyze, then you explain, then you observe or discover. Then, if you have been able to achieve this, then that lesson we are sure. Of course, naturally, they're not going to teach everything and then everything is going to be hundred percent. Naturally, it cannot happen. Even if you have exceptional students, it's not going to happen. But at least you make sure that you have given at least a certain percentage. You have made students discover. They have explained something, they have analyzed something. Why is this happening? Why is it happening? After analyzing, then you can explain, then you can apply after understanding, of course, because if you have been able to analyze, then you can apply. Then, key components here, I want to see the key components in this culture may have rationale and explanation behind the given reasoning. After someone, maybe you give a question, and then someone says, To me, this is my answer. Then, is that student able to explain the the reason behind that answer, or why is he or she thinking like that? So that's the meaning of rational. Then the key learning outcomes based on objectives. Then the values for starting issues. Then you have the next skills. The next skills basically mean critical thinking. We are going to involve in critical thinking, problem solving, creativity, innovation. Those are the what we call basically the, 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 the skills. And all these things. Of course, there are some. Of course, the teacher have to be creative. You have to think what am I going to ask at this point, and so on. But you should, these main things should be 
they should be done by learners. Are they, should they think? Can they think? Can you stimulate them to think further? Basically, you as a teacher. So you create situations that are going to help the student find out how can I solve it or how can I go about this. In themselves, they are the ones who are going to give you how to solve the problem. Important things to note, lessons should be learner-centered. Of course, everything in the lessons we are going to be having in this curriculum, 90% learner-centered in the class. I mean in the class, learner-centered. Learner should be at the top, for you are going to be there, guiding in most cases, guiding, moving around as you observe, of course. Teachers, a teacher is more of a facilitator to just guide learners. You move around, then when you see someone is, you guide them that, what if, what if you do this, what if, don't just say, you do this, no, what if you do this, what if you get it this way, okay, you just guide them, those things you tell them, them, they should be stimulators, as simple as that. The teacher should not give notes, but if students present their own notes to the teacher. Now, after of course, after lesson, you are going to come and harmonize what we call harmonizing. You correct different work, I mean, you correct work from different groups. Then, after you come into the part, or you choose one group, they present, and then after, based on what the other groups are having, you harmonize and say, This was supposed to be the first point, and then you give the reasons. But after them, having theirs. For so, you come in after. Then creativity and innovation from learners and teachers. Then students should be should work in groups with each group having a leader. This is a, a leader, comma, a name, secretary and time part. Because there are some instances where we are going to need time, where they are tired, the other things are going to be time bound. So you need a time paper somewhere. These groups should change members over time. You shouldn't form a compulsory group in your class. These students, after maybe one two lessons, then they should change. These members, they change groups so that you allow members to explore from different groups. Because when you are in one group, some people are just going to be down up there with those groups and they will choose that. Ah, now maybe we should do this, we do this. But as you change them, when they go in other groups, you never know because, as you know, that we are not comfortable. <laughs> some people may not be comfortable with other people. So, if you form a group and then someone is not comfortable, you want to be productive. But as you change, you may find that it's going to be productive. These groups should change over time, okay? Teamwork and cooperation should be emphasized. You tell people to cooperate, and then no one should be at the top of that group. That me, I'm doing this every time. No, someone does this, then the other should be doing this. And if the other did this, this one did this, then the other should come in. Teachers should ask guiding questions to student learners. This is what we say. You don't just talk. You ask, okay, you talk, but behind the talking, there is a reason why you are talking. Okay? Mm, that's what we expect. You ask learners. For example, anyway, but in most cases, what we are talking about should be able to allow either student learners thinking or to give ideas indirectly. Not directly, no, but you give ideas indirectly for students to be able to allow their brains to think and then they give out something serious. Teachers should ask the idea, okay? Teachers should critically observe and supplement members, learning learners, ideas. As you are moving around, you are now, you can find them when they are not. They are off track by the way. That's what is going to happen, I'm sure. You get them, but not telling them the answers. But you are telling them. But if, eh, hey, this one, oh, okay, you just tell them, but don't give them answers. And then after, they will set off from there. Okay, now the next lesson, we are going to see assessments. How are we going to assess these kids? I wish you well. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Mm -mm -mm -mm.